Sousa is going to take down, take him down. That's what I would do. I would shoot yeah. for a takedown immediately. The same game. Same, same, same tactics that Agaia used. I mean, look, th these are testament to the caliber of fighters that we have in this league over and above many others. President Nassim, how are you feeling about this one? Right now, you know, I'm really excited to see how Bruno Souza is going to do with one day's notice. It's not going to be easy, but I got to tell you something. Again, it's a revolution, right? You've introduced different styles to this art. You saw some great BKFC fighters step in, and then you got to see the new techniques that these guys have to use, which were their knees. Really, it's a new rule set that we added in, and they got to take advantage of that against these BKFC fighters. We want to see with karate one to evolve, and then to learn which techniques work against different styles of fighters. Thank you, President. Awesome. We're well underway here. Black pants for Raymond Daniels, white pants for Bruno Souza. And Souza, his characteristic, very mobile style. A lot of... Uh... It's a good thing, especially when you yep. fight a guy like Raymond Daniels, because you don't want to be a static tar target. Because uh, Raymond will, will set you up with th those spinning back kicks. Daniels framed and trying to dictate the break there. Covering a lot of distance on those strikes as he lands the kick to the midsection. Big height and weight difference on this fight. And age difference. Susan's doing a smart job. Lots of movement. Don't be a sitting target with Daniels. It, it seems to me like Souza is trying to uh, lurking uh, Daniels to his reach in order to use a, 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 a strong counter attack, you know, with, with his punches. Well, Souza's talking to him, and this is kind of what happened in his fight with Luis Roca. He, he kind of forgot to throw strikes in amongst all the gamesmanship. Exactly. He needs to start fighting, but he's going to wait for the right moment. Nice counter there by Souza. Let him walk on that right hand. That's the kick we're, we're, I was talking about, this spinning, spinning back kick. Raymond Daniels, the heavy favorite with oh. our token oh, holders. Yeah. Jump spinning back kick there, lands to the hip. Oh. Susan not backing down, though. Yeah, no, yeah, he's doing to push forward. Oh. We're having a, a, a fight. Oh. Oh, well, Susan tried to uh, signal the end of the round was there, and he did it a little bit too early. Chased down by Raymond Daniels. Uh, tight first round, but... Uh, gentlemen, I'm surprised how well uh, Susan performed. I mean, I thought he would be a little bit gun-shy, you know, and now he just... He's, 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 he's fighting backward, but he, that's the way he should fight. Yeah, he's doing a phenomenal job. There's the end of the round there. He's smiling as he gets up. I, 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 I still believe uh, Daniels uh, dominate the round, but uh, Souza had, some, had, had, had his moment as well. Something tells me Daniels is going to turn on in the second round. Yeah, Tyler Wombo is giving the it, it's hard to turn. To Daniels in the corner. It's hard to turn on when someone is running away from you. Yep. It forces you to chase him. And then when you chase it, it makes you susceptible to be countered. Yeah. And that probably takes a little bit of the power out of the shots as well, having to find that extra range each time. The only reason he's still connected with some kicks is because his legs are freaking super long. But Suda's doing a phenomenal job. You gotta watch out, though. See, those kind of little things, he can do something to the head. Or now it's just suddenly a spinning kick somehow. That was nice, fainting, let him throw, and then counter the counter. Yeah, going third, we call that going third. <laughs> yes. Well, you can see the prize pool for this one up over 7 million karate tokens. So a lot of token holders betting on this one, and Sousa gets clipped on the way in. Sousa does something very well. He, 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 he unleash all, everything he has when he's in close range. Because he knows that can't fight Daniels in the out, outside range. Daniels is too 
Stugard in, 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 in that kind of fight. So he waits to, for, for Daniel to come very close and then he unleashes. Yep. Uh, two minutes left in this second round again. Daniels is chasing Souza. A lot of fights this evening. We just got to note that we're able to go pee at some point. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Beautiful left kick. Mike, you, you, you got to be a pro. You're not allowed to leave the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I've done some long podcasts. Souza holding ground in the middle of the, of the pit. Yes. Seems like Daniels is showing him a lot of respect as well, though. Yeah, because he knows if he makes more mistakes, Sousa still got power. I mean, he's a great fighter. And Daniels uh, slipping on the center of the pit there. Sousa staying in a, a close range here. What, what is dangerous for Daniels is when he misses an attack, a, a, a kick, and then he fall into a, a close range uh, exchange. That's when it's dangerous for him to get clipped uh, by I, one of the Souza's punches. Oh, good jumping knee from Daniels. Are, are you surprised we haven't seen Souza execute more takedowns? I mean, he's got a lot of mixed martial arts experience. He actually won an MMA bout between the last time we saw him and now. Yep. You know, are you surprised he hasn't tried to execute a takedown game? Kind of how we saw Agaev do. That, that, that's what I want to say. Yes, exactly. Because he saw Agaev, that was the way he won. So, uh, and, and it's always good to, in the, in the beginning, to throw an, uh, a takedown in there because you get in the opponent's head. Oh, well, he it's tried the outside trip off the body lock, but couldn't off-balance the taller man. Very nicely checked there by Souza. That was very calm and relaxed. Daniels lands to the jaw. Wasn't quite the heel, though. I think it was the sole of the foot. Yeah, da Daniels is the best at setting up the, these uh, spinning attack, especially the spinning back kick. He has so many highlight reels, so many knockouts with those kicks. Well, we've got one more round coming your way. Lots of action in that second round. Again, as you mentioned, George, the spinning attacks of Raymond Daniels paying some dividends for him. Souza is doing a great job at sometimes engaging and sometimes disengaging, not be willing to fight the fight. Well, one of Las Vegas' uh, residents here in attendance tonight, Chris Angel. 3-3, three, 3-1-1-3. Three, three, one, one, three. Out here in space, <laughs> anything can happen. No, because he's a magician, he just showed up. Shows up, leaves yeah, when yeah. he wants. Beat me up, Scotty. Teleports. I've seen him levitate. Right. I'm seeing smiles on both of these guys' faces. Looks like they're having fun out there. Yeah, but uh, we got to see them hunt for a finish. So you see this dance going on. And the hug. And then right to it, and then right to it. Let's work, guys, work, work, stop. Stop, 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 well, stop. I, I think Daniels is suggesting that he took a head up into the jaw. Obviously, Souza considerably shorter than Daniels. Stabbing front kick yes. from the American. As soon as that Daniel is, is faking, Souza is disengaging, which is a good thing because he's, he knows that Daniel is, is setting up an attack. Most oh. of the landed strikes have been kicks from Daniels. Daniels is getting frustrated Slippery. with some of the slipperiness he's experiencing. Oh, nice little capoeira kick from Souza. Daniel said, no way, no way. They went, went as soon as soon Daniel starts fa faking to set up an attack, Souza is disengaging. Well, Souza catches the spinning kick. Right, here we go. Oh, the flying oh, knee. Oh, can't stop, do it. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no back take, save it to Souza. Yes, no choke. Wrong sport. I, 
really don't know what to think about this one so far. It's uh, it's tricky. I mean, you got to figure Raymond Daniels is, is getting the generally the better of the action. Just from those kicks, yeah. And he, he is the one pushing the action more, so Bruno Souza perhaps a lot of work to do in this last minute and a half. Yes. Well, Souza sometimes will move forward, like right there. Souza is doing a good job at, as, at, at, to, to defend and neglect the damage. But in terms of offense, I think... Oh! Boss's favorite shot. Yeah, you want to say it, Boss? You want to say it? Boss's favorite shot. That's my favorite shot. <laughs> oh, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Bruno Souza, I don't know if he's going to get up. We all know that this is not a good thing. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, oh that was direct. Was that... Bruno. On the top, very clear. Yeah. You okay? Okay, there you go. He's, the Mark Goddard is saying he very clearly um, Raymond. heard and saw the I knee know, on the cup. Your, your shin was connected with the cup. That's all. Good. You can tell your corner after the fight because I think it was the body. <laughs> Jesus Lord. <Are> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's Brit. Oh, Mark Goddard, one of the best in the business for a reason. Oh! Oh! To the back of the head. And he stunned him. Well, he's hunting him now. Yes, Daniels knows. Less than a minute left here. Daniels looking for Lovely. that highlight reel finish. Souza moving around to get his composure. And look, look for that spinning kick. If he keeps mo mo moving in a, in, in a circular direction, that, that sets up the, the, the spinning. Oh, and the right catches Souza, who gets wobbled. Daniels does a great job of framing, stopping the clinch. Souza's still there. Souza's still there. 20 Sousa, seconds left in this Sousa one. Souza want to trade punches. He, want to trade, he doesn't want to trade kicks, but he want to trade punches with that. Stop, stop, stop. Well, they're framing on each other again. 15 seconds. Hey, hey, hey. The splaying knees, setting up a play. Oh, oh big one from Raymond Daniels. That is going to be his exclamation point yep, on it. the end of this bout. Wow! A lot of respect, though. Yeah, a lot of respect. A lot of respect for Souza, too. To do this in 24 hours notice, that's pretty freaking impressive. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful performance. Come over here, let's go. Raymond show, show, showed us again why he's so good. So let's get a word with Robin Black on how he saw those three rounds. Guys, two top of the yep. food chain karatekas, both so completely different. Two individuals expressing fighting in their own way. I thought Bruno did phenomenal in that first half of the fight, especially taking it against Raymond Daniels on a day's notice. If Raymond wins this fight, no. that last minute is the key to it. Putting heat on him, attacking from many different angles, manipulating the timing and the range and the space. They're just such great karatekas, and it was a wonderful, hey man, we might still get a fourth round, you never know. If Raymond won that fight, he had to dig deep and adapt during that fight to do it. And if there's a fourth round, baby, uh, good on Bruno, but I want to thank them both for this fight so far. There ain't no fourth well, no, I, I there hate to break no it to you, Robin, rounds. but behind you, we're about to get the official I, decision. No, that's Let's a, go ahead. That's a Daniels victory. Yeah. I, I, I believe so. The winner, by unanimous decision, from the red corner, Raymond, the real deal, Daniels. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.